winter time, even though it's warm and beautiful here today. Haven't been playing with the boats. Um, I have a 124th crawler, a little SEX 24 that I love. Uh, I've never even seen a, a tenth scale crawler. Um, pulled my little crawler out, had fun with it on my little rock course, and said, hey, I want to try one tenth. So luckily a guy in Russin, uh, Chris Dobson, he does a lot of secondhand RC sales, a ton nationwide. So I called him up. We've done some business before. And he had one. I'd seen the Red Cat Ascent, um, and people talk good about it. It was a great price, so I figured it'd be something excellent to start with. It's my first tenth scale crawler, so I picked it up. Um, my rock course, right there along my driveway, it's uh, bog iron, is what those rocks are. Uh, they're all over the place here, so it's bog, <laughs> bog, huh? bog iron ridge. So, I uh, moved some rocks around, got it set up to where I can get the 10th scale over some of it because it was really set up for my 124th scale stuff. Um, so, we're going to go play with it. I'm really enjoying it. The 10th scale stuff's uh, new to me, so uh, it's, it's, it's fun. It's, it's neat how capable they are. Said it's uh, already been upgraded with the Hobbywing Fusion SE system. It's a all-in-one ESC and brushless motor so that's that's a pretty cool unit it just looks like a, a long can motor you know you just uh, um, plug it directly to your battery uh, 2200 milliamp hour uh, Z3S um, plenty of pep excellent low speed control so um, it's a very nice little system that came with uh, also it came with some aftermarket wheels and tires um, there's no lettering on the tires at all. I know it kind of looks like a, I don't know, like a BFG, you know, a BF Goodrich all-terrain or MT or KR2 or whatever it is. So anyway, let's get it on the rocks. On the side, just through my ditch, um, just all that old busted concrete from the crappy driveway hole. Uh, over the years just kind of helped keep from washing out and it actually turned out to be a really neat obstacle for the little truck um, I kept tripping over that metal pipe. There used to be a gate right here along with that fence But I, it was rotten. I took a bunch of it down moved the gate and I keep tripping over that pipe So I put a piece of PVC to uh, smack me in the face before I trip over it so anyway a uh, little fusion system like I said, it's uh, it's great as far as brushless and it's cheap i think it's 79 dollars 69 dollars but low speed crawl and plenty of pep to you know help bounce you a little bit if you need it i say i'm just thoroughly impressed with the little truck so far um like i said i don't have anything to compare it to um from what i understand it's more of a comp style low center gravity chassis the portals all that so if other ready to runs like the sex 10 or traxxas uh, trx4 uh, the, the vanquish the rc four wheel drive if they all can do what this thing does i mean that's awesome i'll probably end up getting something else kind of hung up here Yeah, what's this called? The handle guard. Move it out of the way. Let's try this one. Oh yeah. Easy peasy if you're just patient.
call that rock the tire trap. <sighs> This is a new rock that I just laid today. Uh, it's got this real high ridge. It's going to catch everything. So it's going to be a uh, pretty significant obstacle. It's my first time to try to climb it. Look at that. You can just get that back end over we will be golden look at there sweet and please excuse my driving like I said I'm new to this I know I'm probably driving like crap but I'm just getting the hang of it this is another new obstacle I put I just had this narrow rock right here, so I added all that over there. back up a little bit and get that shot from this side <laughs> cool That's a tough spot. See that? These old iron ore rocks. They just have so many sharp edges on it. At one time I thought about coming through with a hammer and chipping those off, but that wouldn't make it no fun. No fun. Now this sheer ledge here is always so hard. Um, I added some rocks here so I get off on this side because like I said, I used to just go where that concrete is up and over. Um, I'll hit that line another time. It's super tough, and I'm just kind of, kind of show what this thing will do. I don't want to make the video too long, but it's probably going to end up that way anyway. Back over to this side. also a new obstacle here i just added that old piece of concrete this is the first time for it to see how it fares i can already tell it's gonna high center on that belly pan whoa look at it go man this thing is god <laughs> Let 
Then the old gatekeeper here where I start. Those two points right there. This one right here. Oh. There we go. And that's it. The truck is a, a blast. You know, and I can run it back this way. Got a few other lines I can do. Um, it's it's so much fun. Anyway, that's it. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool.